Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Academy Coordinates. This is a follow-up um, video from the previous video we did, you know. Um, in this video, we're actually going to sketch a quadratic function, right? f of x is equals to x squared plus 6x minus 7 and determine the important char characteristics. Obviously, in an exam or maybe in a test, they might not tell you determine the important characteristics, but they will just say, they will just say, find the domain or find the range, you know what I'm saying? They might be exact, you know what I'm saying? However, if they decide not to be exact, you'll, you'll still be covered. Okay, firstly, before we sketch this, we must first look at the function. Is it in a standard form? Yes, it, it, it is in a standard form. Our a equals to one, our b equals to six, our c equals to minus seven, right? Okay. Cool, cool. The intercept of the graph, the intercept, the y-intercept, intercept. Okay, for the y-intercept, it's you let x equals to zero. Um, y x. So the equation of the y-axis is x equals to zero. The equation of the x-axis is y equals to zero. Okay, cool, cool. So you let x equals to zero. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So it's the same as f of 0. Or the value of y when x equals to 0. Or where the graph cuts, you know, the y-axis. Right? Okay, cool. So f of 0, I mean, looking at an equation like this, you can already see that um, it's in a standard form. So the y-intercept, you can see it by inspection, that is going to be negative 7. Right? You know what I'm saying? However, let's just, you know, Go through the <clears throat> the rather maybe I think rigorous steps that um so that you can appreciate what is actually happening here. Okay, so f of zero is um zero squared plus six multiplied by zero minus seven. So it's f of zero is equals to minus seven, right? So the y intercept is zero and minus seven. So in other words, the function will cut the y-axis at negative 7. Do you see that? Okay, cool. Finding the x-intercept. Intercept. All right. Cool. The x-intercept, we're looking for where the function will either cut or um, touch, you know, the x-axis. But, okay, just let's just wait for a second here. This is a, a parabolic graph. A is positive, so the, the, it's going to be all smiles. I mean, like, everyone is going to smile. Even yourself, you're going to smile after we are done with this. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's going to be all smiles, you know? And the function is going to cut the graph at negative 7. So, definitely here, we, we're going to find... We, we, we are supposed to find two values, you know, where the graph will touch... I mean, will cut the x-axis, right? Okay, so we let y equals to zero because of the equation of this line is y equals to zero okay so it's going to be x squared plus 6x minus 7 is equals to zero i could have placed that the other side but you know what i'm saying okay cool so now at this point guys we factorize x x equals to zero okay so we look at the factors of seven um and seven is a prime number so it's going to be 1 and 7, right? Okay, um, how are we going to deal with the signs? It's going to be a positive here, and then it's going to be a negative here. So when you multiply these two, they must give you this. And when you add these two, they must give you um, B, which is 6 here, right? So that just happened to actually satisfy um, our equation, you know? So X is equals to 1, Um or x is equals to what um, negative seven you know what i'm saying okay so the x intercept is one and zero and also the second one is negative seven and zero so we have found the x intercept there are they you know what i'm saying okay cool secondly guys we're gonna find the axis of symmetry of symmetry right the axis of symmetry is sort of the line that's going to divide the graph into two 
into half actually right let's just put it like this i was in love with the first quadrant on the previous video let's just put it here y x so let's just put it on the second quadrant now it's sort of going to be the value of x it's going to be x is equal to something obviously here it's going to be x equals to a negative value this is just an ex a just an example okay for the axis of symmetry it's going to be x is equal to something so this is the equation x is equal to minus b divided by 2a you know minus b divided by 2a right and the function that we are given is um is is in the standard form so this so b is 6 right and then a is 1 all right so let's just do it x is equals to minus what is b 6 divide by 2 times 1 so this is minus 3 x is equals to minus 3 is the axis of symmetry there is it guys the axis of symmetry okay and then the third point we find the turning point the turning point of the graph you know what i'm saying okay the turning point of the graph well, obviously, the x value of the turning point will be the axis of symmetry. You know what I'm saying? So, the turning point will be negative 3 and the value of the function at negative 3. So, it's going to be f at negative 3. Okay, let's just find it. f at negative 3 equals to negative 3 all squared plus 6 multiplied by negative 3 minus 7. This is equals to okay negative three squared is nine plus three multi i mean six multiplied by negative three it's minus 18 minus 17 you know what i'm saying so you can just put that on your calculator okay um sorry this is not 17 it's actually seven sorry about that okay you can just put this in your calculator. So let's just let's just say negative, I mean nine minus seven, that is a two. So two plus negative eighteen, that is negative sixteen. Right? Okay. Trust I'm correct, negative sixteen. Okay, cool. Alright. So the turning point guys of this will be negative three and negative sixteen. This is where the graph will turn. But let's do it the second way, right? I showed you guys how to complete the square on one of the videos, right? Such that if you are given your function in um, in the standard form, you can actually take it to the um, x squared plus 6x minus 7 equals to 0. So we're going to complete the square here. Okay, let me just use a bit of a darker one. We are going to complete the square here, right? So it's going to be um, x squared right plus 6x then plus we're gonna have b there half of 6 all squared so it's gonna be 3 all squared right minus 3 all squared minus 7 is equals to 0 right this is we 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 we, we it was 6 divided by 2 and then we square that okay so it's x squared um let me just lift this up so it's x squared uh plus 6x um plus 3 squared equals to we're gonna take this and this the other side this, this is gonna be a 9 um plus 7 so what is that x squared plus 6x plus 3 all squared is equals to 16 okay so let's take it to the vertex form so it's going to be x plus 3 all squared is equals to 16 and x plus 3 all squared minus 16 equals to 0 so this is our this is actually our function x plus 3 all squared minus 16 right okay cool so if your function was in this manner you were gonna be able to just spot the turning point without even you know sweating or what right so it's gonna be negative 3 and negative 16 which is similar to what we found over there all right 
cool cool so i think at this point in time you can actually sketch the function you know we are not told to do extra points but if let's say they tell you to find the extra points then you, you can obviously find the extra points um let me just put it let's say extra points extra points extra points actually make you you know to be i don't know to plot your graph in a way that seems i don't know accurate right or it enables you to plot your graph such that your the shape of your graph will not go you know outside the what is actually expected extra points you can find f of one f of two um f of three f of zero f of minus one f of minus two it's just extra points that will enable you to just sketch your graph and also if you also use this 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 way actually if you 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 would use the table method you could still plot your plot your graph but that might not give you much information about your graph you know what i'm saying um you'll find x and then y okay obviously this one is f of x you can just write f of x if you are keen you know and then the find and find values that actually apply say minus three minus two minus one zero one two and maybe three so you choose your values unless if maybe they give you a table like this then after you're going to use your calculator to find your values okay okay guys it's time to sketch the function you know sketch it sketch it right here this is y this is x it's zero there okay let's catch the function <clears throat> okay cool the y-intercept is zero and negative seven let's say let's just say negative seven is here this is where um your function will actually cross the y-axis zero and negative seven the x-intercept is minus seven and zero minus seven and zero and then the other one is one and zero so here it will be one you know the turning point it's negative three so negative three is somewhere here. this is not actually drawn to scale negative three da, 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 da. and negative six and see negative six is here it's not drawn to scale guys i'm sure some of you are shouting there like you know what it's too far so you can actually join the point okay here it turns then it goes that is not the most beautiful graph in the world but <clears throat> this is more or less how your graph will be right and then this is the turning point negative 3 and negative 16 right this is how your graph is gonna be right it's how you sketch your graphs and everything okay obviously i've just been exposed that i'm not good at drawing these graphs but that is how you know your graph will be okay let's just say something about this graph let's say find the domain of this graph what is the domain i mean like in in in, in high school i would hear of things like domain and i'll be like what in the world is happening you know the domain is where your graph will exist you know horizontally right from left to right obviously this graph in, increases without bound it increases also without bound so um as far as the horizontal side is concerned it will actually exist everywhere it's there is nowhere in the x where this graph is undefined so we write that as x is an element of real numbers or you can write x is an element from negative infinity to infinity so obviously da, 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 negative infinity is somewhere this side da, 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 positive infinity is somewhere on the other side okay cool so it exists everywhere you know like horizontally right then we look at the range the range we are looking for y right now so where is the graph defined as far as um the vertical axis is concerned or vertically right so it's obviously defined from here this point you will you won't find the graph at negative 17 or negative you know 18 um you know what i'm saying but from this point upwards so it's actually from the turning point to infinity because it increases without bound so we're gonna put square brackets here negative 16 until infinity so the graph 
its range is from negative 16 until infinity and it increases here you know without bound so that is what we mean and then finding the maximum or the minimum value value okay obviously this graph has got a minimum value which is this one it's actually its turning point the minimum value of this graph is negative 3 and negative 16. if our graph was like this for example um you know it was gonna have a maximum value which which might be this you know you, you would actually appreciate that is actually the turning point of the graph okay and lastly guys if you are told to find the values of x where f of x maybe this this graph increases increases or decreases right okay for that you just need to come down and do it like this where the graph decreases let's start there okay looking here guys this graph is coming like this it decreases 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 da, 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 until here right but just before here you know so from negative infinity it comes down and it decreases 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 up until just before um negative three here you know what i'm saying so this graph decreases from negative infinity in other words from um negative infinity is far 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 to the left right it it decreases decreases until uh, negative three but i don't include negative three because of where at negative three at the value of x which is negative three it's neither increasing or decreasing right um okay where the graph increases increases it increases from here and then it goes up 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 until infinity so it increases from negative three up until infinity you know so this is how we actually tackle such problems guys um um and also i once made an example they say this is you there you are throwing a ball you know projectile motion you are throwing a ball then it reaches the top and then after it comes down again when the ball gets here you know the velocity would be zero we will we, we'll call it a stationary phase and stuff like that so it's something like it's more or less the same notion when we speak about where the function is increasing or decreasing but guys without um um continuing until the video becomes even longer yes this is how we actually sketch you know quadratic functions if you've got any questions guys please 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 do not remain there you know clueless please ask me questions i would kindly appreciate that throw questions and then i will answer you if you are scared or shy to type you know on my comments maybe your name will be seen maybe you're afraid that your friends might come and see there that um i don't know tebucho has posted has wrote a uh, what is a domain if you're afraid of that then kindly email me you know and then after i'll obviously get back to you or you can call me or whatever you know guys do enjoy the rest of your day